Shalom, 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 Shalom. This is Jeremiah Shalvin Yarel, and this is Real Talk. This is part three, the extended, ver the extended version of part three. And uh, I have two more um, health factors that go along with the series of marriage and health. The videos uh, that I, I put out did up with marriage and health. And I'm just going to briefly go over uh, the first one dealing with the clothing industry. Because there are a lot of poison and toxins inside of our clothes that also will keep us defiled and also keep us unclean. Today's clothing industry is a $7 trillion a year industry that uses an astounding 8,000 synthetic chemicals. Customers have a mistaken illusion that synthetic fibers and clothes are safe. For over half a century, over half a century, century people have been reacting negatively to chemicals interacting with their skin causing disorders like infertility, respiratory disease, and yes, even cancer. The more synthetic clothing you wear, the greater your risk of absorbing toxin chemicals that can precipitate health conditions most often not attributed to synthetic fibers. Your skin is the largest organ of elimination and absorption. What goes on the skin goes in the body. When toxins are absorbed through the skin, your skin, they are taken up by the lymph, lymph, lymphax, lymph, lymphax system, then into the bloodstream, eventually, uh, eventually into the liver, the chemical processing plant of the body responsible for removing toxins. Your skin also keeps you healthy and actually vents approximately one pound of toxin daily. Petrochemical fibers restrict and suffocate your skin, su shutting down toxin release rather than allowing it to escape, contributing to your total body burden and may be the trigger for the onset of diseases. Now, what is explaining here is the fact that these clothes, especially the synthetic clothes, have a lot of chemicals. And when it's absorbed through your skin, it stops your skin from pushing out the toxins that it's supposed to push out. Because the chemicals are reacting to you, causing you to have uh, low sperm rate. Um, you won't, you won't be, you know, uh, uh, you'll be ster can sterilize you, men and women. It causes you to have uh, can, can uh, develop cancer. Uh, this is inside of our clothes, the chemicals and the dyes. So we must be aware of these things. The, the second, the other part of uh, what we need to be aware of is what we put in our mind. The TV shows that we watch, the music that we listen to. Majority of the stuff that's on TV, that's on Netflix, that's on in the movie theaters are gar is garbage. And we are feeding on garbage, like maggots. We're eating, uh, um, we're eating music that promotes homosexuality, that promotes uh, violence and drug use, suicide, murder, uh, robbery, Drug dealing, where we're watching TV shows that promote the same thing. You know, uh, blood, uh, guts, uh, bestiology, and all kind of other things. We're watching these things, we're listening to these things, and we are absorbing these things into our body. And, and the end result is that we have an unhealthy mind. And an unhealthy mind is an unhealthy body, is an unhealthy life. And is a vessel that the Ruach will not dwell in at all. He will not dwell in a mildest soul. The spirit of wisdom will not, our sister will not dwell with us. And the Ruach will not dwell with us and give us wisdom and instruction on how to motivate and be, uh, how to motivate, how to strategically move inside of this uh, place that we have been brought to as slaves. And how to leave this place. So you have to think about what you connect your body with, who you connect your body with, what you put in your body, what you put on your body, and what you uh, put in your mind. So the woman you connected with, the food that you're eating, the clothes that you're wearing, and the information that you're receiving into your mind. These are major factors in your health. So we must, number one, be dealing with the Ruach Hot 
we must be dealing with the Ruach. We must be dealing with our partners in marriage who are also dealing with the Ruach on the same page with us. We must be eating foods that are living foods. We must be wearing our royal apparel that is not full of chemicals and full of uh, dyes that causes cancer, respiratory diseases, and um, infertility, and y'all knows what else. And we must protect our minds from the things that we're putting in our minds, from the things that we're watching and listening. Nicki Minaj is being paid to pollute your mind. Lil Wayne, Jeezy, and all the other ones are being paid to pollute your mind. Beyonce, all of them are being paid to pollute your mind, to keep you in a state of uncleanness. The food industry is uh, pumping uh, tons and tons of rotten, defiled, and altered meat into our communities. The clothing industry is pumping tons and tons of clothing that is uh, toxic to our bodies into our communities, as well as everything else. The music industry, the entertainment industry, is targeted towards us uh, 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 because we are the children of light to keep us defiled. That's the only way they can survive, by keeping Yahshua from being righteous and being purified to receive the fullness of the Ruach. So you have to understand, in order to get the Ruach, you must be joining your body with somebody that is spiritually uh, yoked with you. You must be uh, putting in living food. You must be putting on your royal apparel that doesn't uh, bring toxins into your body that will keep you defiled. And you must uh, fill your mind, your soul, with righteous music and righteous understanding and learning and information. And entertainment, not garbage. You all what you eat. This is Jeremiah Yasha Ben Yarel, and this is Real Talk, and this is the extended version of part three on marriage and health. If anyone don't understand what I'm saying and don't see the benefits of uh, uh, making sure that the clothes that you wear does not defile you and not kill you or poison you, then something is wrong with you. If you don't understand that the meat industry is giving you meat that will defile your temple and kill you, something is wrong with you. If you don't understand that listening to music that promotes violence and promotes per, per, uh, permissionist, uh, uh, promote uh, being permissionist and promote uh, uh, committing adultery and promote uh, you doing drugs and um, promote you murdering and selling drugs, something is wrong with you. If you don't understand that the things that you put in your mind, your body, and, and connect with your mind, your, your body, and your soul, if they are negative, you're going to produce negativity. And if you can't understand that, something is wrong with you. Your eyes are closed, your ears are shut. If you don't understand that eating meat today is the wrong thing you need to eat, that eating vegetables, being a vegan, is the best thing you can ever be in this day and time. When you got China, who... Uh, turn pork into beef, when you got cows being fed meat, and any type of meat, something got to be wrong with you if you teach the opposite of that, and you teach to go ahead and eat and indulge in that stuff, something is wrong with you, and if you are in uh, camps that are teaching that, you need to get out of them. With all you're getting, get you understanding. Shalom. 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 However way you want to say it. Because I know that many people say it different ways. That's why I say it different ways when I do videos. I say the name of the Messiah in different ways. Because I know a lot of people call him by different names. I'm not into all that. I'm into giving out this information to the nation of Yashara, the nation of Yasha'Allah, the nation of Israel. Israel. Yisrael. Shalom.